buenos días. John waking up, and there's Mira, already been up for a long time, waiting for somebody to throw her this ball. You ready? <laughs> Buenos dias. <laughs> so these dogs that you can hear were a problem last night. They kept barking and barking and barking, and it just echoed in here like crazy. But we finally fell asleep. And you know what? Mira doesn't even talk to him. She doesn't care. She's like, just throw me the ball. I'm not, I'm not going to bark. That's why we love you. Look at the patience. She's just waiting, laser focused. Okay, here we go. Mira, look, the sun came out. Oh, man. John's got his coffee. Yeah, man. <laughs> How you feeling, bud? I'm pretty good. I slept pretty well, except for these dogs. They're barking all night long. What dogs? I don't know what you're talking about. No. no. <laughs> None of them are like Mira at all. Yeah, no. Nobody's like Mira. Mira's a one of a kind. How's your body feeling? Do you feel like you get a little bit recharged? Or? Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Slept uh, pretty well. Ate pretty well. But you don't really know until you start riding. So we'll get a few hours in and we'll, we'll see how we feel, but I, I, I'm optimistic. What kind of coffee do you have? Uh, Starbucks Instant Bia. Yeah. I brought a supply from uh, north of the border. <laughs> hey, John, have you ever lost a bag off your bike? No. Come on. <laughs> That's silly talk. <laughs> We've just encountered a bit of a whammy. It's not a devastating whammy but it's a whammy John was looking down and realized that one of his dry bags had fallen off probably on that steep bumpy downhill that we both bombed down and I didn't see it so he's gonna ride all the way back it's pretty far and then up a really steep hill yeah and that's why I got this bag with these little uh, these little loops on it so I can yeah hook it in there yeah security <laughs> loops yeah okay Mira one last kick before we get going Okay, you ready? You ready to ride bikes? You ready to ride bikes? Yeah, you ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, that's a heavy thing. Look at John go. He's a beast. All right, back to the road. Goodbye, sweet little town called Revel Caderos. That was a good spot to sleep for the night. Sometimes the grind of these trips can wear on you a little bit, but when it comes down to it, all you have to do every day is get on your bike and ride and pedal and enjoy nature and eat good food. And that, my friends, is pretty much a dream come true. So as hard as it gets sometimes, you gotta take a few steps back and be like, this is pretty sweet. This is a good situation. Look at that bear dog charging. <laughs> hey John, you want to do the honors? Hmm. <laughs> no crashies. No flatties. And no whammies. No whammies, baby. Let's have ourselves a great day riding bikes. Whew, I'm glad I'm here with you, buddy. Yeah, man, likewise. Ah, oh, this is fun. I'm coming, Mira, I'm coming. I'm right behind you. These roads are just so beautiful. Hi, Mira. Good morning. Good morning, Mira. So what I'm noticing today already is that the grade is quite a bit steeper. Yesterday seemed like, you know, five, six percent grade. Today already, it's eight and nine percent, so a bit steeper. It's a good thing we're up early. It's not too hot yet, and we 
We're just slowly making our way up. Oh, look at that. It's a mini Mira. <laughs> Hi. We got the parade of dogs. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Ay, que lindo. Hey. Hola, amiguito. So we stopped here to see the cute puppy. Started talking to this nice guy and, uh, he invited us in for a ca cafecito. Mira, there's so many friends here. There's so many friends at this house, aren't there? Ay, mira. Miruña. Y usted se llama Marta. Ah, muy bien, mucho gusto. Ándale. Ándale. ¿Y usted, usted nació aquí? No, yo soy de Durango. Durango, ok. Sí. Muy bien. Pero usted nació aquí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sí, aquí en esta montaña. Vente. Eso, hola Palomino. Hola Palomino. Tortillas hechas a mano. Ajá. Sí, las mejores, ¿no? Sí. ¿Y cuántas tortillas ha hecho en toda su vida? Desde la de nueve años, chicos. <risa> ¿A usted le gusta andar en bici? Ah, ah, ¿En esta carretera aquí? Sí. ¿Con mucha cuesta? Un poco de, de, de ejercicio y, y luego a, a salir a partes interesantes también. And check it out. He's got grip shift just like our pinion set up. No, somos amigos, no, no hermanos. <risa> So I don't drink coffee ever, I don't drink caffeine, but when I'm invited into somebody's house like this, I always take whatever they give me, really. And so here we go. John, are you gonna be able to handle me in a little caffeine? I'm not sure, I'm a little nervous about that whole situation. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah, do you think I need caffeine? It's warm. <laughs> yeah, it is. Salt tortillas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tortillas are good even when they're yeah. just warm. They don't need anything on them. Mm -hmm. It might seem like boring food just to eat a tortilla with salt, but it's actually really good, especially when they're hot. When I rode home from Honduras, I used to always go to tortillerias and just get hot tortillas and eat them, and sometimes even put bananas in them. But this is a good breakfast right here. Mucho. <laughs> So when we first showed up, he just said, come inside for coffee, and now it's turned into a full-on meal, and uh, this is a really awesome situation. I just told them that this is the reason why we travel. You know, seeing the landscapes is fun, but like meeting people, being invited into their homes, making friends, that for me is the best part of travel. These are the experiences I'll never forget. The surprises keep coming. She just gave me a plate of beans and quesadillas. Mexican business. Sí, hombre, los beans de México. Gracias por todo. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Mira. Oh. Calcomonías nuevas de la famosa Mira. Y Juriel, gracias por todo. Usted nos salvó hoy. Tuvimos mucha hambre. Sí, sí hombre. Para servirles. Sí, gracias por todo. Sí, gracias. Bueno, adiós. Que tengan un buen día. Hasta la próxima. Adiós. Uh, that was a really beautiful little moment. 
Wasn't that cool, John? That was super nice. I mean, generosity, kindness, warmth. Makes you feel good about being in Mexico. Yeah. And if you were wondering, yes, we did give them money. They never asked for money, but I gave them 200 pesos, which is about $10. The average Mexican makes about five or six dollars a day. So she was definitely very excited when I handed her that 200 peso bill. And uh, it feels good to help out some locals. You know, he was talking about when the freeway was put in five years ago, it took away all the, the business from this road. He said this road's essentially abandoned. up here is really nice and it's cool. We are now at 8,000 feet above sea level. Probably about as high as we're gonna get. I don't see a whole lot much higher than where we are right now and uh, you can definitely feel it a little bit. There's less oxygen in there and even that family back there said that it snows here sometimes. There's the sign, Espina del Diablo, Spine of the Devil, covered in a lot of stickers. And uh, on this side of the road, we also have an incredible view. And then, of course, on the other side, what we've been seeing all day is also quite impressive. And I figure this sign has tons of stickers on it, so I'm gonna add my own. I have a few of these in my wallet. Great place for a you are beautiful sticker. Nice, huh? Because you are beautiful, Madre Tierra. You know, it's really quite unique to be on this road and have no cars because if this road was in the United States, it'd probably be through some national park or something with tons of traffic on a Sunday. But we're really the only ones out here. We've seen a couple cars and they're all going as slow as we are. So it's a safe place to be riding right now and just looking up and looking to the left and looking to the right and enjoying all the beauty.
So we heard some water off the side of the road and we're gonna fill up right here. Oh yeah. Some nice cold Mexican spring water. Not even gonna filter it, no need. We've been mostly getting our water at tiendas, buying plastic water bottles, which is unfortunate, but it's the way things happen here. So whenever we can fill up in a natural source, we do it. Come on, Mira, come on, get some of this nice water. Yeah, look at that. I need to correct myself. Back there when I said we'd pretty much reach the highest altitude we'd reach at about 8,000 feet, I was wrong, because we're now, we're at 9,000 feet. Are we going any higher, John? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> town called La Ciudad, just the city. That's the name of it. And we're gonna get some treats because that's the best part of Mexico. They are really good at supplying treats. All right, I'm gonna show you my treat haul. This is fresa platano, strawberry banana. Got some Doritos. Got some of my favorite Principe chocolate galletas cookies. And a six pack of Snickers and a little like yogurt liquado drink. Not very healthy, but uh, oh well. <laughs> All right, what'd you get, John? Uh, just Ooh, dog food. Just dog food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we share now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There might be some nutrients in there. Totally. Oh, you got some stuff in there. Some good, good treats. Yeah. Yeah, it's an excuse to, after yesterday, it's an excuse to eat a lot of potato chips. Yeah. <laughs> you feeling better? Oh uh, yeah, I feel better. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's cool. And beautiful terrain today. Amazing. Mira, mira la famosa. Muy bien, excelente. Mira, you make friends everywhere. Yeah, you do. So John, this bag has an excess of calories, saturated fats, and sugar so and yeah. Uh, salt. Yeah. Exactly what you need. Totally. Perfect. <laughs> this is health food for me. <laughs> So what are you doing here, John? Well, I'm adding some uh, baby oil to my brakes, which will, <clears throat> in a pinch, work as brake fluid. I don't know what happened. Uh, at some point, I think this lever is starting to fail, and air has gone into the system, so the brakes don't work <laughs> with the dam. And baby oil is okay. Yeah, yeah, it's mineral oil, which is in here, and, and uh, people have done it before. And I'm just trying to. Uh, get bubbles out of here, out of the system, because that's what causes the big problem. All right, Mira. It's time to look cool. Got to protect those ojos. your head on your seat. <laughs> You're so cute, Mira. <laughs> All right, first night putting up the tent. We found an old rancho to hide in and it should be real nice. I have my warm hat on and my puffy. We are at 8,000 feet above sea level, which is about a thousand feet higher than yesterday, but it's already pretty cool and the wind today has been much colder than the previous two days. So I have put on my rain fly to keep in the heat, which will be cozy. This is my lovely abode. Got my sleeping pad, air mattress, have my, my quilt, my charging station with all of my toys so I can make you lovely videos. Up there, that's my riding clothes. They usually dry off up there, a little top shelf action. And, uh, yeah, today was a good day. We actually rode 
70 miles, which is a lot. We just kept riding and riding and riding. And, uh, you know, the light was beautiful. And we, we found this spot right here. And we still did go up 6,000 feet of elevation. It was mostly before noon. And uh, before noon was definitely the best part of the day. The Espina del Diablo was absolutely stunning. So beautiful. I want to go back and ride that again and again and again. And uh, the best part of the day, though, was meeting that family in the morning and, you know, eating breakfast with them. And they were just so sweet and kind. And uh, the husband had such a nice face. You know when you meet people who have just kind faces, kind features? That's how it was with that guy. We, we met him on the side of the road. He was holding a puppy and invited us in. And that was definitely a beautiful experience. And now we are out here in ranch country, about uh, 50 miles from Durango. And you know what time it is. Somebody always has energy at the end of the day, no matter how hard the day was. Ready? One, two, go! How you feeling there, Juan? You're yawning. Are you uh, so bored of this? No. <laughs> no. Uh, still not 100% today, but better today. Mm -hmm. And the cold is really biting me. But uh, yeah, well, I had a good day. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was. Amazing riding. So yeah, what more do you want? Not really? much. No. Maybe some beans for dinner. <laughs> you think you have some? Mira, do you want my beans? You want my beans, buddy? That's not what you want, is it? All right, you just want me to throw a stick, don't you? Ah. <laughs> and now it is time to squeeze the beans out of the bag. Um, um, um. That's what's kept me going on bike trips for the past 15 plus years. <laughs> Come get your beans, John. <laughs> Do you want some beans? You are too distracted. There you go. Oh, you like that? <laughs> this is the first time I've ever given Mira beans. She seemed to like it. She waits patiently for a gringo to throw her a stick. Is this the one? Okay, go get it. <laughs> oh, she cracks me up. You are so good to have around. Life is better with you, you know that? It is. It's so much better with you. Yeah, you made some friends today. I saw you making friends today. Good night, moon. Buenas noches. Gracias, muy amable.